Episode 14, In Search of Juliet. Cardinal Richelieu is furious that D'Artagnan and the Musketeers have prevented his guards from capturing Juliet. Yet another failure. Your incompetence is beyond belief. Yes, Your Eminence, I must apologize. For one of your experience, this is inexcusable. Eminence, it was that upstart D'Artagnan that upset our plans. D'Artagnan is but a pup. Aren't you ashamed that such a young lad is capable of defeating you? Yes, Eminence, of course I am. Listen, Rochefort. That young lady who you failed to capture will contact the Duke of Buckingham to arrange his secret meeting with the Queen. Yes, Your Eminence. Fortunately, my informers report he has not yet entered the palace. We must find the girl before she contacts the Duke of Buckingham. For if he and the Queen meet in secret, they'll ruin everything. I'll make Dog Tanyon tell me where to find her, for I happen to know that he and the young lady are close friends. This is the place where we should find Dog Tanyon. I've heard he's very handy with a sword. We'll have to be very careful. I'm told one time he disarmed the captain of the guard. Hello, the house. Open up, in the name of the law. Those pesky guards have come back to bother us again. There are three of them out there, Dog Tanyon. Why are they here? Dog Tanyon, I cannot stay another second. I must go immediately. I'll go downstairs and stall them for as long as I can while you two leave by the back door. Listen to Planchette, Dog Tanyon. He's right. Another fight with the guards would just make matters worse. You there, you hear me? Open this door. Good morning, gentlemen. Is there something I can do for you? Is Dog Tanyon home? The Cardinal wants to see him at once. I'm sorry, but you just missed him. We'll see about that. Uh-oh, it's gonna be a close one. Through here, hurry! It's worse than I thought. There are guards posted all over the place. Well then, I'll have to fight them. As a wise mouse once said, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Now watch for my signal, then make your escape. But they're on guard. How will we do that? Leave it all to Pip. <laughs> hey! Out of my way! You guys! What? Monsieur Mouse, you are drunk. It's not me, it's you four that are drunk. You are seeing double, you wino. Ha! You're not supposed to drink on duty. Move on, you loudmouth moron. On your way. Loudmouth? Uh, moron? Just who do you think you are that you can call me that, you impudent, worm-eating scoundrel? Pippin, how you wish a sweet doesn't have to take that from anybody. Which one of you is first? Hey, we're on guard duty. We don't have time to quarrel with you, so get lost. Go on, scram. You cowards, if you won't fight, apologize. We're sorry, satisfied? If you're on duty, why haven't you arrested anyone? I've seen some very suspicious characters. I don't see anyone. Then what about that fella sneaking around the corner there? Mm hmm? Over there, over there! <laughs> hey, what are you trying to pull? Absolutely nothing. I was just trying to help. Trying I was to just help. trying to do my duty sure as a were. citizen. Now I'll don't be smash foolish and do something racist. Here, have a drink. Oh, you stupid mouse! Come back here! Don't stop him! Stop away! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him. Stop him. <laughs> bah! That little pipsqueak has disappeared. Thanks to Pip. D'Artagnan and Juliet have made good their escape, and now are going to seek the help of Porthos, the leader of the Three Musketeers. Hello, D'Artagnan. Is Porthos in? No, I'm afraid he's not at home right now. Hmm, I'll have to find him. May I know why? I want him to protect a friend of mine. Hello, my name is Juliet. A pleasure, Mademoiselle Juliet. Do come in. Please make yourself comfortable. If there's anything you need, don't hesitate to call me. You're very kind. No trouble at all. 
You don't have to worry anymore, Juliet. You're safe now. The Cardinal's guards won't think of looking for you here. Remember, not to leave the house till I come back. Yes. And now I'll go see what happened to Planchette and Pip. Now don't worry, I'll be back in no time. But I must deliver the Queen's message. Meanwhile, Porthos is on his way to D'Artagnan's house. Get ready, someone's coming! Little realizing that within the house are some unwelcome guests who are also looking for D'Artagnan. That's far enough! It's about time! You're um, D'Artagnan, right? Hmm. Good morning, Planchette. Good morning, monsieur. This is D'Artagnan, huh? isn't it? <clears throat> hmm? Oh, uh, yes, this is my master. Lieutenant, this is the one we've been waiting for. D'Artagnan, by order of the Cardinal, you must accompany us. Mm-hmm. What is going on around here? What is Porthos up to? Why is he pretending to be D'Artagnan? Speaking of D'Artagnan, here he comes now. Hi, I'm back again. You'll stop smiling when you hear the news. Oh, Master, something terrible has happened. What's going on? Well, Porthos was arrested by the Cardinal's guards. What? Planchette, tell me what happened. The guards that came for you didn't know what you looked like, so they thought Monsieur Porthos was you, and he never said a word. He just winked at me to let me know that he wanted them to think that. But that still doesn't explain why they arrested him. Don't you understand? They didn't arrest Porthos. They thought they were arresting you. Porthos must have had a reason for not telling the guards that they'd made a mistake. What could he be up to pretending to be Dog Tanya? I think he must be stalling for time. Stalling for time? Cardinal Richelieu believes his guards have arrested Dog Tanyon, so until the mistake is discovered, Dog Tanyon is free to help Mademoiselle Juliet. Mon Dieu, that's very clever. However, I don't think it will take them long to find out his true identity, so we must take advantage of the time we have. Hey, I agree, that's a great idea. Uh, but how do we do that? Huh? While the four friends decide what to do, Mademoiselle Juliet has already come to a decision. She can't afford to wait any longer for D'Artagnan's return if she is to carry out the Queen's orders and find the Duke of Buckingham. If only she had waited just a few more minutes, she would have had a safe escort. For D'Artagnan, Athos, Aramis and Pitt are coming to help her and even now are approaching Porthos's house. As we shall see, this unkind twist of fate will cause D'Artagnan a great deal of trouble. Ah, <clears throat> oh, Monsieur, you have returned too late. What? The young lady's all right, isn't she? My friend, I'm afraid she's disappeared. What? Hmm. It's true, she's gone. I thought she'd be safe here, but I was wrong. They've taken her away from me again. Have you noticed, Dog Tanyon, there are no signs of a struggle in the room? It appears to me she left willingly. I don't believe it. She knew she wasn't supposed to leave until I came back. Juliet! 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 Uh, Juliet! Are you in here, Juliet? Dog Tanyon, watch out! Come on out of that closet, Dog Tanyon. She's not hiding in the laundry. Uh, Juliet! Juliet! I'm coming! I'm coming! Huh? Were you calling me, young man? Uh, I was looking for Juliet. My name is Juliet, young man. What can I do for you? Uh, Heaven help us. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. I think Dog Tanyon is right. She must have been kidnapped. Then it must have been Rochefort or Widimer aided by the Cardinal's guards. What now? This is a very delicate situation. Remember, they still have Porthos under arrest, so whatever we decide to do, we must be careful. If they don't have Juliet, maybe we can find her. We can try anyway. Agreed. Dog Tanyon, you take the northern side of Paris and we'll take the southern side. Right. Everything is going smoothly, Eminence. We have Dog Tanyon under guard. Excellent. Well done, Captain Widemer. Thank you. Eminence, I'd like to petition you to reinstate Captain Widemer. He's been a great help to me. Granted, Rochefort. Widemer, you are pardoned. I hope you have learned your lesson. I am grateful, Your Eminence. Mm -hmm. Hmm? <laughs> now that we have Dog Tanyon in our hands, have you found out where the young lady is hiding? No, but all the guards are looking for her, Your Eminence. The whole city of Paris is being watched to prevent her escape. 
The sooner we have her, the better. That young lady can tell me many things I have been wanting to know about Her Majesty the Queen. Very well. I promise you, Dog Tanyon will be made to tell us where to find her. Only as a last resort. At present, we can't afford to provoke Treville and his musketeers. You are wise, Your Eminence. Their interference would be inconvenient. I'm sick and tired of them and Monsieur Treville. Just because he knows how to handle a sword, he thinks he's so important. My very thoughts. Treville doesn't have the kind of brain to understand what is necessary here in France. Those who believe that they've an important contribution to make simply because they are swordsmen are downright fools. I, uh... You didn't think I was referring to you. Why, you can't even handle a sword. Eminence. <laughs> Don't worry, Widemir. I couldn't possibly have meant you. <laughs> Who's that? Enter. Pardon me, Eminence. I have a message for the captain. Very well. Come in. Eh? What is it? Eh? Ah! It's true, sir. He's not Dog Tanyon, but a musketeer named Porthos. It can't be true. It couldn't be. What is going on here, Captain? Uh, Eminence, I'm afraid the man we arrested is not Dog Tanyon. What? Who in blazes is he? My men arrested Porthos, one of the musketeers. What? Uh, you incompetent. You've made me look the fool by speaking to the Cardinal on your behalf. <laughs> Out of my sight, you brainless idiot. <laughs> If I ever set eyes on you again, I'll... <laughs> Meanwhile, Dog Tanyon searches Paris for Juliet. I don't know where she could have gone. Who knows? Say! What is it? It just occurred to me that she very well might not want you to find her. How can you say that? Never trust a female. When they need you, everything's fine. But when they don't, it's so long, Charlie. No. Stop it, Dog Tanyon. You sound like a bull looking for his cow. Maybe she loves you. I could be wrong. And why not? Am I a monster? No, it's just that she's older than you are. A few years. What's the difference? My friend, that's your opinion. And of course, I agree with you. But she probably thinks of you as a baby and loves you as a brother. Not so. I was right. Just like a bull. Ah. Uh, may I? That is, I would like to. Hi. Oh dear, huh? it's a nightmare. Is that so? Oh! I Let's never get out of here. So Dog Tanyon, is that her? Juliet, Juliet. Huh? Yeah. Heaven save us. Another what? monster. Uh, take that! Oh, uh, oh salty uh, defenseless uh, woman. So, they took you for Dog Tanyon, eh, Porthos? Monsieur Chupil, you should have seen their faces when I told them who I was. <laughs> I wish I could have been there to see that, Porthos. I don't understand it. Why is Dog Tanyon so important to them, eh? There is more to this than meets the eye. It has something to do with Dog Tanyon's friend, Juliet, who's on a secret mission for the Queen. You mean the niece of Monsieur Bonacieux? Yes, and they have arrested him also. Worst of all, we don't know where Juliet is. Hmm. Dog Tanyon is searching for her all over Paris at this very moment. So he is, and he and Pip are exhausted, but he hangs on doggedly and refuses to give up. I'm so tired. Woo! Rest for a while, and then we'll continue searching for her. Huh? Oh, no, Dog Tanyon, not again. Hey, there she is. You kidding? If that's her, then I'm the Easter Bunny. You'll see. Juliet, Juliet, wait! Hi, huh? Hey! Oh, sorry. You scoundrel, what do you think you're doing? Uh, uh, uh. You need to be taught some manners. Oh, husband! What is it, darling? Uh-oh. Angel, this scoundrel attacked me and scared me half to death. Is that so? I'm gonna give you a lesson you'll never forget. Uh, it's been my pleasure. Uh, mine too? Huh? In here. That won't help you. Now I've got you. Help, I'm stuck. 
You're a big ox. Come and get me. Come and get me. Leave him alone, Pip. Let's go. Just a minute. I want to talk to this bully. He's going to apologize to me. Right? Right. Ah. <laughs> I can't run anymore. He was gigantic. If he ever catches up to us, we've had it. I've never seen anyone so big. Well, why did you tease him? I told you to leave him alone. Hey, look over there. Isn't that Juliet? This time I'm sure it is. But you still can't give her an escort. And why not? She's on the other side of the river, dummy. I don't care. We'll swim. Hmm. We'll turn into icicles. Uh, I don't think this is a time to worry about being cold. Now listen, a freezing river on a cold day may be your idea of fun, but hey! Uh, wait here me. we go! More fun than a Mexican hat tape. Wait for me, Juliet! Uh, Juliet! Huh? What? Ugly. Excuse me, I made a mistake, mademoiselle. Why, no, I oh. think I'm a very handsome boy. Oh, you're pretty, of course. Oh, do you really think so? Yee, the fortune teller told me that I would meet a cavalier that would want to marry me. And I'm so very, very uh -huh. glad that he was you. Uh -huh. Oh, I knew at the minute I saw you. Uh -huh. Hello. Yikes, run for your life, Dog Canyon. Oh, bye oh. now. Oh, oh. run, oh. don't oh. stop, oh. run. Oh. 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 I give up. Oh. Am I seeing things? That's Juliet. I'm too tired to even look. All right. But I think you'd better. Oh, it is! Oh, hey, Juliet! He is Juliet. absolutely out of his mind. Wait for me! Juliet! Hello, Doug Canyon. It's nice to see you. I'd like to introduce you. Where have you been? We've looked everywhere. We've been searching like fools all over Paris, and here she is taking a casual walk through the middle of town with another man. Why did you leave Porthos' house? I told you to stay there until I came back. <sighs> because it was necessary. Like I told you, Dog Canyon, never trust a female. Mademoiselle, take a good look at him. He's had a great disappointment from which he may never recover. And it's all your fault. Excuse me, but I don't think you're being fair <laughs> to Juliet. Uh, shut up! Doug Tanyon, you must treat this gentleman with more respect. Perhaps you can give me a good reason to do so, but I doubt it. It's all perfectly clear, Doug Tanyon. He's been making fun of you while you've been searching for Juliet. Ah, uh, sir, defend yourself. Right. He's asking for it, I'd say. Please, be reasonable. I thought I could trust you. Come on, monsieur, unsheath your sword. Out of the way, Juliet, if you please. Don't be such a fool. This gentleman... It's quite all right. Monsieur, I accept. Don't worry, Juliet. Excellency, I beg you! Huh? What did she mean by Excellency? Who are you? <laughs> the Duke of Buckingham, sir. Oh, I beg your pardon. Dog Tanyon, who's the Duke of Buckingham? He's the Prime Minister of England. Yeah, listen, you can't challenge a minister to a duel. It's just not done. You're hopeless. But I didn't know. You always get me into trouble. You never use your head. You're right. I always use your head, and that's the problem. Huh? I think you should apologize, don't you? My lord, I apologize. Please forgive my stupidity. Now, there's no need to apologize. You're a brave young cavalier. I thank Your Excellency for understanding, and I promise that if you are ever in need of me, I am humbly at your service. That's very kind. As a matter of fact, there is something you can do for me. We need safe escort to the palace. Are you willing to protect us? I am. Hmm. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. With the Duke of Buckingham as your rival, there's nothing you can do. As my wise father used to say, romance is like a game of cat and mouse. It always has a tragic ending. Oh, shut up, Pip. Thank you so much, Doug Tanyon. Doug Tanyon, I am very grateful for your services and will always remember what you have done for me today. Thank you, my lord. Oh, you're at it, why don't you look his boots, huh? Goodbye. Oh! My 
heart is broken. Love. Yuck. We leave our hero, Dog Tanyon, feeling like anything but a hero, for he believes he has lost his lady love to a powerful rival. His discomfort is being observed by a mysterious stranger who will play a part in his adventures to come. A friend or an enemy? Only time will tell. But meanwhile, Dog Tanyon will seek comfort from his friends, the Three Musketeers, for their motto, in triumph or in pain, in everything that's said or done, is one for all and all for one. In our next episode, the Duke of Buckingham meets with Her Majesty Queen Anne, who has something beautiful but dangerous to show him. While Cardinal Richelieu attempts once again to capture Mademoiselle Juliette, D'Artagnan meets the mysterious stranger in the Black Mask. Thank you.